don't care that she had a dick. <laughs> Alright guys, in this intro I'd like to point out two things you're going to find wrong with this video. If you'd like to skip it, you can go in the description and click the link to do so. So, we, uh, we were at a concert last night. Our voices are going to be possibly somewhat hoarse, maybe kind of boring, because we just can't hit those notes anymore. Megadeth! Yeah, it was Megadeth. And my computer's broken. I haven't been uploading anything. Now, before that, I just wasn't uploading because I just wasn't uploading. But now my computer's broken because I had the drive to work on something, and then now I can't. Oh, at least not like me. I just don't upload. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm getting all the data off of that hard drive sometime today and uh, looking to work on it on not my computer. But still, we'll get done. All right. This is a reread of Ballad of the Warfish. Thanks for joining us. Ballad of the Boarfish. Yeah, Mikau yelled as his fingers moved at the speed of light down his fish skeleton frets. His strings wailed and grinded the, with the rest of the Indigo's music. The stage that the band stood on was strong, made of palm trees and palm leaves. The lighting was all but unneeded. The sun was shining bright on the Great Bay on the day of the concert, and everyone was feeling it. The crowd was jumping and the, and the music was great. A cool breeze picked up off the ocean's water and blew across Macau's fins. The salted air did nothing but make him want to play even harder for his fans. He continued to play riff after riff, soloing his heart away. By the end, the entire band was basically just free jamming along with his lead. All in all, it was a very successful concert. Meanwhile, somewhere in the crowd, a young Hylian was calmly enjoying the music as the many people around him jumped and roared. Meanwhile, the Legion of Doom the fucking thing pops up <laughs> it out, comes of out of the, the swamp. Lake. Yeah, it comes out of the lake. He loved this new sound the Zora Mikau's instrument was making. He'd never heard anything like that in Hyrule. He was tempted to take out his ocarina and try to play along. The band played and the people danced. A good day in Termina. After some more time playing, the concert finally ended and the band began to descend from the stage. The crowd had thinned out when Macau reached the bottom palm wood step with his guitar in hand. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw a blonde poking through the salty sea air. Macau st stopped dead in his tracks, taken aghast by the boy's natural beauty. A tune seemed to play in Macau's head as the wind blew the blonde bangs of the country-looking boy up and out of his face. As Macau continued to stare, the boy cut his eye towards the stage and caught a glimpse of Macau's gazing. Yeah, I'm sure there is a lot of gay gazing. There seemed to be electric blue. That wasn't part of it. That's gay to hazing, it. just yeah. to be fortunate. Yeah, yeah, there seemed to be electric blue fire in the sea air as their gazes met. Both felt a deep, shallow feeling in their chest as they just continued to stare into each other, soul through the windows of their eyes. The moment that was but seconds seemed to last for years. Can I stop you for a sec? Yeah. They stared into his, they stared into each other's soul through the windows of their eyes. What the fuck is the win do you what is the window of your eyes? You wear glasses, that's kinda like a window, right? Yeah, I've got a window for my eyes. <laughs> yeah, <those are> <laughs> eye windows. Yeah. yeah. Well people say your eyes are the windows to the soul, but Yeah, I know, I but guess. the uh, this goes back to what I was saying earlier. It, and you it, know, I need a little guy to go out on my glasses hard. and like you know, like bit on big skyscrapers they have those window cleaners. I need, like, a little mini guy in my glasses to just kind of jump down and start cleaning them. You know, Volvos have, like, fucking windshield wipers for the headlights. You get those for your glasses. They're probably about the same size. Holy shit, I didn't even know that. Yeah, me neither. I've, I've never seen them work before, but, you know, they're there. Yeah. Oh, uh, fuck. Was, uh, let's whatever. see. Uh, the moment that was but seconds seemed to last for years before Evan, Evan, Indigo's keyboard player, tapped Macau on on his way down the step. Hey man, what's up? You look kind of stunned for some reason. He spoke to Mikel slowly, waking from his transfiction. Eh? It was yeah. a Deku nut. Someone <laughs> threw a Deku nut at Yeah, him. right. And he fucking, yeah. yeah. He turned blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, sorry. Kind of dozed off there, huh? Mikel laughed. Hey, uh, could you take this back for me? I need to, uh, I need to see something. Mikel held up his guitar. Yeah, man, I guess. Yvonne took the guitar from Mikel and continued on his way back to Zora Hall. 
Mikhail began to walk over to the blonde-headed stranger. The sand shifting under his finned feet felt all but familiar. As he began to approach the blonde boy, their eyes met once again, causing the same blue-fired feeling to fill the air. Okay, this person describes these things like these are things that actually exist. The windows of your eyes, blue fire in the air, fucking, it becomes complicated. When you're trying to, like, be super metaphorical, yet, like, you're trying to describe something that's actually happening, at some point you gotta put the thesaurus down. What blue if we fire. said the same things now, or the same critiques back then? I think we'd be boring. Yeah, I don't know if we are giving the same critiques. No, I, I think it, it might be. I I think we stopped way too, way too often in the other one, which is probably why it took so fucking long to read it. Yeah. Because we go down here, it's not a very fucking long story at no. all. But anyway. the, the, it's like it's like almost an hour all through. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Oh For wow, fuck! And parts. it's an hour of sitting, listening to like bad jokes from how many years ago? I and, don't know anymore. And laughing at just the dumbest shit. Yeah. Because we're not even yeah. But anyways. Uh, where was? Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. So blue fired feeling yeah. filling the air. Yeah. Macau yeah. is beginning to like this addition to the atmosphere. You know, lights the place up. He approached the blonde with feelings of deja vu washing over his mind. Did he know this boy? It seemed like they'd met before. That they'd traveled some uh, together somehow. His name. What was his name? Macau took his last step as the grains of sand fell over each other under his foot. A tall Zora Macau stood barely a few inches from the blonde boy and now with now obvious pointed ears. You remember when I made that? You remember when I, like Macau's dick just like flops. He's like, ah, oh, fuck! I didn't realize. Yeah. He's got pointed ears. I don't. Unlike me that. at the show last night. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's a deep cut, and I choose not to explain that for my own sake. All right. So, oh shit! I better at least say that it had nothing to do with Jacob and I. With no snow gay shit going on there. But if you want to know, you'll never know because. <laughs> Stop just. <laughs> If you want to know, you're never going to know. <laughs> if you want to know, I don't, I'm never going to tell you. <laughs> Wait, where are we at? But I missed out. I just feel like I really missed out. I don't care that she had a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is all coming up because I really, I stopped because I, I know I'm going to insert the joke soon. He'll be standing six inches in from the old video. <laughs> That's right. That was That's a good right. one. That's right. Nothing other old jokes. Some of them were good, yeah. just not very many of them. Uh, Mikhail raised his hand up to caress the blonde boy's cheek gently, making the boy flinch back as slightly as Mikhail began to subtly sh began subtly shifting his fingers a bit. The boy blushed heavily at the smooth but tight Zora's skin, lightly brushed his face. It'd be scales though, wouldn't it? Now, wouldn't that kind of hurt? If you go against the grain, well, like you know, if you've got fish scales, if you go up, can't they like, cut your hand up? Like, like, oh fuck, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, well, like catfish fins, yeah. I don't know. I mean, some fish. They have they have like fins like that that come out, right? So like thorny maybe. fins. Yeah, I, I guess it really just depends on whether or not he's going against the grain. If it's smooth, I'd have to assume he's not. Oh, good thing he's not gonna be the one. Fucking. Oh, good. Drinking aid just verified. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to keep it on. I, I ripped mine off. Yeah. Oh, was a memento from the concert? Dude, we have pictures and shit. We'll I know. Get that. Yeah, but. Oh, check I'm the not... Instagram for the pictures. Yeah, I'll, I'll, get to, I'll throw the link. Anyways, uh. Link, your name is Link, isn't it? Mikhail said in a whisper as light as the breeze. He was so close that his breath brushed through Link's hair, much like the same breeze blew across the oceans sea green waves. Link's cheeks grew even more red as he oh so slightly nodded his head up and down to acknowledge Macau's question. Yes, as I thought. We've met before, have we not? Macau asked. Link shook his head side to side. If they had met, neither one remembered. No? But Macau was somewhat confused. Maybe he's wearing a shirt that says hello, my uh, hello, the, a name tag. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my name is Link. <laughs> Yeah, Bink. How did he know my name? He just forgot to take it off, you know. Yeah, Bink. He says we've uh, he says we've uh, never met, but his name. How did I know it? 
Mikhail was confused, but his feelings of confusion were beginning to submerge and turn for another feeling uh, attraction. He, as he slowly moved his hand down Link's neck and over his shoulder, Mikhail could feel his member slowly begin to harden. I want you. I want to be inside of you, Link. The Zora said, making Link's eyes grow wide as now rising silver Termanian moon. I remember, because you read that last. Oh, hey, you know, we forgot to mention something. What? Tags. So, in the tags, I noticed penis sex. Penis sex? Penis sex. <laughs> no, wait. Moon penis sex. <laughs> Can we get, can we, like, somebody listening, can you just write a fanfiction about the moon in uh, Majora's Mask? Oh my god, it's coming to fuck the earth? Yeah, the moon, so, <laughs> now I'm gonna fuck the earth. <laughs> <laughs> it just has a big gaping hole out of it from, like, it's like, I was pissed on and now I'm gonna fuck the earth. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna fuck the earth. <laughs> okay. I got on my face before I piss on you too. Uh. <laughs> All right. Cal could feel his member. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Link began to shake his head. As a member. Buh, 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 buh. <laughs> before, That's like an onomatopoeia for something, right? Yeah. Link began to shake his head, but before he could, Macau's hand had moved from his shoulder to the back of his head. The Zora pulled, drawing the Hylian in for a passionate <laughs> kiss. Link quickly put both his hands on the Zora's chest to try and push him away. But Macau's years of training... Isn't this rape? This is just rape. How old is Link? I don't know. How old is he in, uh... Fucking Majora's Mask. We had this debate in the old video. That was, uh, I thought... I always What's thought age of Kid consent? Link... I always thought Kid Link was, like, six, maybe eight years old. But as it turns out, I think it's, like, actually ten, maybe eleven years old. Because you're... Because uh, they call you adult Link. Oh, in it doesn't. Door? Yeah, it doesn't make that much difference necessarily. But to say that like they're in the prime of being a kid, but it's so so to say that one is better than the other is I don't know about that, man. It's all kind of the same. It's fucked. Oh okay, here we go. Uh, his years of training as a Zora warrior made his effort pointless. Link's lips met with Mikao's and the two began to kiss. Oh, now I see what you're saying, because he's actually he's like like trying, actively fighting against He's against trying to get away. It was a gentle kiss, despite, but I think, yeah, anyways, despite the light force Mikao was putting into the back of Link's head, the pulling him in, Link felt the Zora's thin lips caress his. They felt warm but cold at the same time. Link's muscles began to loosen from his tense defensive state as he felt Mikao begin to pull off his face. Like he's a sucker fish. Yeah. Yeah, just like mixed up. Well, thanks for making the sound. Cause I, I don't. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. As he re yeah. As he released from Link, the now semi-consensual kiss, he moved. What? Semi-consensual. Yeah. As he released Link from the now semi-consensual kiss, he moved his hand from the back of Link's head down to the small of his back, while letting the other arm loosely hang at his side. The sun had now fully set and there was no one on the beach. The rat, was there people on the beach watching before, but they just left? Or did, were they like, you, Oh my gone, god, gay. I'm out of here. It's fucking gay. Yeah. And they all just ran away and they're like, please, can't this moon just come down any faster? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, a different moon joke. <laughs> yeah. And now, now, now you look at that joke and you're like, oh, gay's not bad. Well... We're, we're, you're looking at a 20 year old game through a 2021 lens, and that's the problem there. Therefore, the joke is. Everyone okay, in the game is just homophobic and in, immediately because they. Yeah. Party. Okay, the large crowd from before had now completely dispersed, probably par off partying back at Zora Hall by now. The Zora and the Hylian were alone on the sandy shore of Great Bay at no one but their own discretion. Yeah, everyone just kind of left. Link blushed heavily again, but it was different this time. He smiled as he leaned up to gently peck Mikau on the lips before slowly falling gently onto his knees. The fine beach sand provided a gentle landing. Link was now eye level with Mikau's waist and his loincloth. A small mound could be seen poking from underneath Mikau's loincloth, made from his half flaccid cock. Link moved as slowly. It moved. Link? Fuck. Link moved in slowly and began to gently lick the t tip of the mound. The quickly made, this quickly made the mound grow and move up, bringing the loincloth with it as Mikau stood at full mast.
Yeah. Here. Though on Azora, this can be somewhat hard to tell. Link pushed the brown cloth back to reveal Macau's penis. Link smiled as he stared curiously at the cop that was looking directly back at him. Hi! Hello there! <laughs> it was a smooth and calm mix of light and dark shades of blue. A river river-like design ran from the shaft all the Wait, did he get a tattoo on his dick? Yeah, he did. I, I, I don't know. I Wait, when you get a tattoo on your dick, designs. do you have to be hard when you get the tattoo so it, it like, is completely, like, you I, have I to would be. Have, yeah, you'd have, you have to, to be, be because if you, if you, if you like, don't, got, then if it gets all, it'll get all bone. fucked up. Yeah, if you got a bone, it would stretch out the design. It would look stupid. Like, if I, if I got Joe Biden's face on the tip of my penis, which is what he looks like anyway. <laughs> Uh, then I would. That's. It would look all fucked up. Yeah, it would. It would stretch. Wherever, like, okay, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before you're done, though, when Link was, uh, when Link was licking the top of the mound, and he like pulls it out, and there's a dick. What if he was like surprised, like, oh, oh my god, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's what was there. <laughs> yeah, he never expected. Yeah. Uh, Chef, all the way to the tip of the head, all. All in all, running up seven or eight inches. Damn. Impressive. Yeah. Link looked for a few more moments before opening his mouth to accept the Zora's cock. He moved He moved his head forward and onto ah, Macau's member, closing his mouth about halfway in. A shock wave of pleasure moved down Macau's spine as he tilted his head back and gave an almost silent moan of pleasure as Link reassured that he was doing right. Oh, it's reassurance, my bad. Uh, Mikau stretched out his arms and placed... Fucking starts T-posing. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> arms He's T-posing for dominance while getting his dick sucked. <laughs> I'll have to do that next time. I'll have to do that next time, make sure I'm by the window. Next time I'll be in one. <laughs> king of the... Fucking king of the neighborhood. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Mikau stretched... Uh, Macau stretched out his arms and placed his hands on Link's shoulders as they moved back and forth uh, with his head. Macau could feel the Hylian boy's tongue gently move around the head of his member. It seemed like each swipe of, of his tongue... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Macau could feel the Hylian boy's tongue gently move around the head of the member. It seemed like each swipe of his tongue sent hit after hit of pleasure up and down Macau's body. Oh, Link soon began to apply pressure by inhaling the open air with his mouth. This caused his cheeks to be pulled inside of his mouth, which made the inside of his cheeks begin to gently brush the side of Macau's shaft. I remember asking, how did Link learn all this shit? Where did he learn it? You said something about the mailman, and somehow I ignored that. Wait, wait, why did I say, wait, wait what mailman? You said something about the mailman, because, like, you said something about, like, uh, here, and, and for this, you've earned this mailman's hat. <laughs> <laughs> for sucking dick though? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. And he, he, he can only suck dick well when he puts the hat on, like the bunny head. That's, like, yeah, he that's the special uh, it's ability, ability like, is that yeah. the fucking... Feeling was immense enough to make Macau force Link's mouth off of him by pushing off his shoulders. As the member came out of Link's mouth, it made a slight As someone noise. with experience, that's very accurate. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So saliva dribbled down out the corner of Link's mouth as he looked up at Macau's undeniably wide smile. Link smiled oh, even God. wider as he stood up and grabbed Macau by the hand, pulling him over the caked mud fence that half surrounded the local okay. fisherman's house. Okay, thank God. All I read was caked mud, like, for a sec, and I'm like, oh God, did he say he, like, caked something on his face like mud? Like, I don't know, I don't like that word used as, like, like that caked, the word the, the, when you cake something on something. Yeah, because like, the only time that sound. happens in a sexual situation is only one way it can happen. Yeah, and so I just all I remember was caked mud, and I'm like, yeah. yeah, it just doesn't, it's just, it's like, I don't know, but everyone doesn't like the word moist, but I think the word caked is worse. <laughs> it's <laughs> just is. worse. As yeah. long as you're caked with some kind of food. Link stood I did not have relations, but anyways. Okay. Do not have relations with caked people. Yeah. I always get a here. weird feeling when I eat caked people. Anyways, uh, you can cut that one out too. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Link stood Macau behind him as he turned to face the fence. Bending over, he lifted the tail of his tunic up to reveal his skin-tight white tights. 
his, uh, his own member had now grown and could be seen poking through the tights, even from behind. How? You can see I, his dick from behind? Is it just that big? Is there like a, there's probably a silhouette on the ground? Maybe. Either maybe. way, uh, either way they didn't, they didn't give enough description. Yeah. I'll Macau, yeah. Macau gently positioned himself behind Link as he took his own member in hand. While moving his hand back and forth on himself, he used the other hand to pull down Link's tights. Link's penis breathed fresh air <laughs> as, it, <laughs> as it bobbed from the freedom. <laughs> okay, all right. Macau, Macau wasted no time before slowly moving his cock into position directly behind Link's anus. He pushed gently at force, at, gently at force, but soon realized that he would have to apply a little bit of force. I wish he got, got the words mixed up or something. He used the word force gently, three yeah. different fucking times. I think he's it, just getting horny, or they, they're getting yeah. horny while they're writing it. Like they, like they do. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Yeah. I, I I love these parts of the story; they're the best. So it just so it's it's like yeah. what if what if he pushed gently at force, but realized that he would have to apply a little bit of first. <laughs> yeah, like he, yeah, instead of running force, he just reversed. The fruit. Yeah. yeah, Link relax. <laughs> yeah, Link relax as much as he could to allow his anus to accept the Zora's penis. Sooner than later, Macau finally breached the opening. of by pushing his cock in about an inch. Link flinched, tensing up intensely or, oh fuck instantly. At uh, at the much wanted at the much wanted invasion, Macau began to thrust back and forth, back and forth, but, but, but slowly at first, but picking up speed gradually. He moved faster and faster as he began to moan in pleasure. Link remained oops. Oh god. Link remained I thought it said moistly silent. Link remained mostly silent, despite a light grunt here and there, but Macau could see that he was smiling. He enjoyed this uh, as much as Macau did. Macau would slowly thrust, standing still for a moment before starting slow and gaining speed again faster and faster until finally he pulled his throbbing Zora member out of Link's anus. It, so <laughs> it softened fast, eventually falling between his bullet. Wow, that was quick. Uh, almost looked like it could have been swaying with the wind. He fell to the sand exhausted. Link fell back into Macau's lap as his head hit the Zora's chest. The two of them breathed heavily as they stared into each other's eyes. That same blue fire feeling came over them both once more. They loved it. Macau bent his head down at the same time as Link brought his up, meaning for one more passion-filled kiss, and oh my god, I just remembered what's about to happen next. Yeah, so, uh, you know, you, you mentioned, had a, like, man, that happened really fast, well, when you're, when you're going faster and faster and faster, and eventually you read the, you, you reach the fucking speed of sound, you're not gonna last long. Was it not clear that the tapping was butt sex? Yeah. Yeah, but that's just crazy how he got, like... Yeah, those would be uh, ass blast beats. Yeah, get the new Beats headphones. Ass blasters. <laughs> yeah. Mikhail broke the kiss as he stared deeper into Link's eyes. He wanted to say something, but he wasn't sure how to bring it up. Or if his new lover would even agree to it or not. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know if he's going to kink shame me. Yeah. <laughs> Link, what would you want? What would you say if I... If I was to end your life by fucking consuming you. Sorry, that's not what it says, but that's basically what it says. What would you say if I... If I was... If I said that... If... If you... You ever have you, a dream you wanted that you... To, you wanted, you wanted to, to eat you so to much eat. that you would do anything? Yeah. <laughs> Link, what would you say if I... If I said that I wanted to eat you... Macau said, his heart pounding with nervousness and anxiety as he awaited for Link's answer. Link was surprised, but he remained silent. He thought for a moment, and then smiled. Is that a yes? Macau asked him again. He nodded yes. Thank you, my friend, my lover. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> I wish I knew the song. I'd finish. Uh, Macau, as he smiled and bent down for one last deep kiss from his love, the two kissed deeply for all 15 minutes. What the fuck? That's a really long time. How Even can you, you just can't breathe? You your know? lips would be shriveled up. Y they'd be chapped like hell. 
Yeah. yeah Fuck. Holy shit. The two kissed deeply for all 15 minutes before Link pulled away. It seemed that uh, that was a signal to Macau as, as if to say, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> the shrimp lady. <laughs> Uh, in the most silent way he could, Mikau's only response, the only one he needed, was a silent, beautiful smile. Mikau opened his mouth as he began to close in on the top of Link's head. Oh, wait. oh shit, this is yours. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the shrimp lady. But anyways, Mikau opened his mouth as he began to close in on the top of Link's head. He wrapped his thin Zora lips around the top of the Hylian's head. As he tasted his blonde hair, why would that be good? Anyways, it tasted almost a fruit. What the fuck? All right, I know gays are called fruits, but this is fucking insulting. Macau moved further. Cut that out. Macau moved further down, soon engulfing the entirety of Link's head. Link's body did not flinch. He enjoyed this, and he certainly wasn't going to interrupt his or Macau's good time by fighting it. He knew this is what they both wanted. Macau's Macau gulped again. <laughs> Can I stop? Yeah. This sounds like the ramblings of a fucking madman. It's just like, no, no, she loves it when I fucking stab her in the stomach. She she, she knows I enjoy it, and we both enjoy it. This is 100% consensual. Yeah. This sounds like exactly what a fucking serial killer would say. Yeah, Mikhail gulped again, moving even further down Link's body. He outlined, the outlines of Link's body could be seen moving down Mikhail's thin blue Zora neck. Hold on, so in order for this to happen, he had to like enlarge, like he ate a super mushroom and like, in order to eat him. If he, if he can be seen inside of his foot, how big is Macau? Macau, I don't know, size of a dude, if he was a fish, but uh, we don't know if Zoras can unhinge right. their jaws like a so, snake. I don't know if you still have a picture of Yavi. Oh yeah, but how that did is he what do I, it? That's what I imagine happened to Macau, he just, Yavi just, like his mouth just like went... <laughs> I can find a picture of Yabi for sure to yeah. put in here. For those of you that don't know, actually, you know what? No, no context. I'll just no. The picture, picture will be there. You'll see it. Yeah. Deep more uh fucking gulp uh. Oh, where is it? Where was I? Uh, oh, Macau gulped again, moving even further. The outlines of his body could be seen moving down Macau's thin blue Zora neck, down past his shoulders. Gulp, down to his waist. Gulp. And with one more deep, moist swallow, nothing of Link was left outside. But below the, his knees, Mikel pulled his head up, having to put extra effort into lifting his neck. God, that just hurts my neck. <laughs> yeah. My neck already hurts right now. As it was n now heavier with Link inside, as Mikel looked up into the clear Terminian night sky, he closed his eyes and swallowed once more. Gulp. And like that, the blonde Hylian Link boy... <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? The blonde Hylian Link Boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a credit to the bitch. <laughs> no, no. Uh, and like that, the blonde Hylian Boy Link, the same that Macau had loved so lovingly and ferociously that night, was gone. Oh, seriously, actually. Furiously that night was gone. Macau leaned back and fell flat to the soft sand below him. He smiled once more. This was a happy smile, even this though his love was, a was sad gone. Smile. Yeah, even though his love was gone, they'd be together forever. No, because you're gonna shit him out. And this is this is this last happy smile for the night was Macau's goodbye to his lover Link. Later that week, yeah. Macau, still with a somewhat extended belly, sat down and composed the lyrics to the Indigo's next big hit. It was a ballad, a story of Azora and his love, lust, and hunger. It hungers for more. Uh, fucking <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, this was a uh, fanfiction by JQ Vor. No what do they do? What do they write about? You know, I don't know. I'd have to really look into it. Oh, look, we're actually the what? second fucking results as yeah. the, if you just search it. Uh, most relevant videos results. Michaela Fishmore, Pornhub. Oh! Uh. Just to know, is, is she eating a fish? Like, whole? I don't know what's going on here. Mostly all just looks like regular porn. Hey, that dude kind of makes me feel good about myself. Hey, Whatever. check this out. Bell of the Look, 
Battle of the Warfish, Battle of the Warfish. And yeah, the yeah, other that's one. what I was saying. Those are the first results to pop up. Yeah, this one says uploaded by Hibibi. This one says uploaded by Captain Blackbread. That's that's the one. I was never ever called anything else ever. I didn't go through like a revolving door of names. All right, that's been Battle of the Warfish, guys. Thank you for listening.